What a rally here. Dow up 436. The Democrats' hard fought Inflation Reduction Act promised to dramatically increase EV adoption in the U.S., but experts say that the current bill lacks clarity over which EVs actually qualify for the bill's tax credits. All we know is that EV buyers can earn up to $7,500 in tax credits, but only on EVs built in North America. So that includes Mexico and Canada as well. And only, here's, here's the question, only if their batteries are built in North America with minerals mined in the U.S. or in a U.S. trade partner. Meeting that threshold to a T could be very tough. In fact, the Alliance for Automotive Innovation says that even possible that no current U.S. EV models meet the Made in America's requirement that includes sourcing of battery materials and assembly. While there's no clear vision for EVs in the bill, one Israeli company has just snagged a $4 billion deal to provide Volkswagen with LiDAR sensors and perception software to outfit its EV and autonomous cars. The stock on news of last week's deal? The company, Innoviz Technologies, jumping. Its co-founder and CEO, Omir Kilaf, joining us now, first on Fox Business. Omir, first, congratulations on the deal. Is this just for VWs or all of Volkswagen's brands, including, you know, Audi, Bentley, Porsche, Lamborghini, and such? It is for all of the group. Innoviz is serving all of the brands. And yes, it is a very uh, big uh, opportunity uh, for the market to grow. You know, it's interesting because it's very much autonomously focused, your LIDAR, light detection and radar ranging. Uh, and yet most EVs out there are coming in with autopilot or partial autopilot. Uh, as you watch this develop in the U.S., incentives, how important is it to incentivize this technology? I mean, uh, the autopilot is uh, currently not really providing safety, safe mobility. Uh, and LIDARS is, is the solution. The only problem that LIDARS were very prohibitive in terms of cost. They were very, very expensive. Six years ago, uh, the best-in-class solution would not include a LIDAR. Now, with Innovis technology, this is actually accessible. We are already launching next, next year with BMW, our first customer, who chose the Innovis technologies to go to the market with a safe LIDAR. Uh, to serve their customers. And now, as you said, Innov is locked in another big customer, which is the entire Volkswagen Group, together 15% of the entire automotive market, and we are moving fast. Uh, so is your stock. Today alone, it's up about 15%. Uh, and I know that makes you smile, of course. I'm sure it, your investors are thrilled. But tell us, how did a tiny company start up such as yours when there are other competitors out there like Luminar? How do you land that kind of deal that will up your order book to about $6.6 .6 billion? So we didn't start only in the last year. We already been working with BMW as a first customer. So we bring a lot of experience with bringing an autonomous driving technology to the automotive market. That's first. The second is that we came along with a new product, our second generation product, Innovis 2, which is 70% cost reduced versus the first generation and 30 times better. Now, when we brought this product to the market, it was really uh, an amazing offer to the to different car makers and Volkswagen uh, chose to work with Innovis. Uh, and this opportunity, we're also becoming the tier one. So we are the direct supplier uh, for the Volkswagen uh, group. Wow. This also uh, improves our ability to be much more efficient in our way uh, to serve uh, the, the entire group and be uh, a much more cost-effective solution for, for them. We're serving our solution as a tier one supplier now to okay. all car makers world, worldwide. Well, uh, we love these kind of companies. We love technology here on the Climb and Countdown, and we love the future. So the future is now for you guys. Thank you for coming back on. We hope to see you soon, Omir. We will be soon. Thank you. The company is called InnoViz.